hello everyone so in the last video we have created a scenario a code to do a green red scenario right led scenario especially uh, what do you call uh, to uh, uh, show that if the value is more than 511 we are showing a red a kind of red alert okay if it is less than 511 we are going a green showing a green switching off the red that means everything is normal green means normal red means danger right like that so we wrote a scenario like this so in the last video I explained it very clearly so now what I will do is I will uh, go for a demo before that I will do a small refactoring okay. and and do a demo right so we all always know okay so particular uh, pins we can assign variables right so for any pin we have seen that guys right any pins we can assign variables right you remember so variable declaration okay and value assigning so variable declaration and initialization so what i want to do is okay to make thing a little bit clear okay uh, and clarity i will assign this pin number 7 and 8 to two variables or in other words i will give names to this pin because if somebody is reading the code they don't understand what is pin number 7 and 8 so if I am giving the name as red to pin number 7, green to pin number 8, so somebody reads the code will very clearly understand. Okay. So we know these Arduino pins are integer values, integer numbers, so I can use int. Okay. So I will name it like this. Okay. So what I will do is first I will say I will say int okay red. Yeah, it, it's just a name I am giving, right? It can be Y, set or anything, okay? A, anything, right? So red is a name because I want it to be a little bit meaningful for the person who is reading it, okay? And I'm giving equal and I'm going to say servant. Okay, so I hope guys you have some idea on this because we are learned, right? Data type, uh -huh. name and the value, right? You remember? This is how we are declaring and initializing variables in one line. You remember this, right? And then for green, I'm going to type int green 8 okay so these are fixed values we are not i'm not going to change this anywhere because this is the pin values i just want to use these names so that it makes sense and also if you are using it in 10 places this 7 and 8 and if you want to change the led pins you can simply uh, change here if you are using the word red and green in all those places then if you change it in one place that that will be reflecting in everywhere instead of if you are using 7 and 8 then if you are changing the pin numbers to 9 to 10 in future day you have to change everywhere those pin numbers if you are using a variable you only have to change it here so you know all these things i explained this so what i will do is for wherever i have read seven used seven i will use the keyword red not keyword variable name red okay so i will go here i'll paste okay so this is also red I'll paste okay so wherever I'm using pin number 8 I'm going to use green so you know whenever the green is this this line is implemented Arduino will come and see okay what is the meaning of green or what is the meaning of red and it will go and refer this replace this number because I already said you in a variable in a memory location this number 7 will be stored and the memory location will named as red and in another memory location <coughs> number 8 will be stored and that memory location will be named as green so when you are saying red this memory location will be referred and the stored value will be replaced here you know these things right the same happen same happens with the green as well this memory location will be referred and this value will be replaced here okay so it is same as having 7 and 8 here right so uh, what i will do is i will uh, just um, so now it, it makes sense right red high green low green high red low so this is this names are only for our own convenience not for anything else okay you can have this name as dog and cat no problem you can have this name as uh, some weird names let's say w and y no problem right like because i have an x value here likewise you can have any value okay that's fine so this code is very much understandable i hope so before going to the demo i will make sure this is error free so i will verify it okay guys so we have studied about if else condition and meanwhile just for some refactoring purpose i gave you some variable names if this is uncomfortable to you 
I will just proceed with 7 and 8 because my main purpose is you want to study learn about if else conditions okay so I will wait until this is compiling ah it is done okay so I will copy this code okay and I will paste in the Tinkercad demonstrations uh, simulation platform <coughs> where I am expecting you to do it with your own Arduino right you have to connect these green and red LEDs to 7 and 8 with 330 ohm resistors and you have to connect a preset or potentiometer or variable resistor to A0 and implement this from my uh, expectation right that's fine so I have a scenario here so you can see my board red LED is connected to 7 see these guys and my green LED is connected to what 8 so the connections are perfect and my input is A0 and this pin is uh, going to ground this pin is going to plus 5 so if I am rotating from here to here this is this is what increasing values if I am rotating the here to here it will be decreasing values everything is fine okay Sounds. what are they saying okay. so I am going to open the serial monitor yeah oh yeah that's fine because we can see the values right and I'm going to start the simulation so initially you can see green LED is on because the value is 0 so less than 511 okay so I'm <laughs> we are printing this value so we are inside the else condition and also you can see red LED is low so we have manually switched off the red LED okay not by default <coughs> so uh, what I will do is I will write increasing it oh my god uh, this is a little bit bizarre so I will uh, what I will do is I will minimize it and I will try to bring this component here somewhere I will stop it so that you can see this ok so I will try to bring it here ok because we are not able to see this I will start the simulation ok just ignore it guys for a moment ok so now still see this I will stop the simulation ok so let's see what happens okay so we'll start the simulation and see what happens okay so now you can see uh, this value is 0 less than 511 so LED green LED is on and red LED is off so you know where the code is now right so now I will slowly increase it slowly increase, uh, what is this doing oh my god I'm sorry guys for this inconvenience I'll slowly increase it and now the value is what 368 still it is less than 511 so green on red off so I will increase it more than 511 so you can see the change okay now the green has gone off okay and red is on okay so the value is 593 so if this brightness is not you are not able to clearly see just focus on this red light first red light and green light only and see how these values are uh, visibleness is changing now you are seeing the green is on right and again I am going to switch on the red oh, what is this Okay, I'm going to switch on the red and green should be going off. Okay, so it's going off. Maybe you may find it takes a little bit time to respond, maybe due to some simulation environment issues, but just ignore it because uh, uh, what I'm coming to say because uh, in the real world, okay, if you are doing with real Arduino, you will be getting perfect outcomes. Okay, so you can, uh, can check with this, okay, this value in the serial monitor okay guys now see the other one so if the green takes a little time to go off I am not probably seeing it due to my screen I don't know uh, yeah the green is taking a little bit of time to go off this is due to some simulation issues with the real Arduino it will be totally perfect guys okay so just ignore that okay so red goes off green goes on okay uh, what is this green goes off and red goes on okay again green on red off Okay, so you can check the values in the uh, serial monitor and red goes on and green goes off okay so in the real Arduino you will see it perfectly timing okay if the simulation environment is environment is uh, I can I can notice the simulation environment is giving us delay in switching off the green so there might be some issues in the environment so I don't know what is the problem but code wise it's perfect and all uh, even though it is late it is reflecting right so with the real Arduino it will be working guys okay so guys, I will catch you up in the next video. Until then, stay safe.